professional chess player and coach Babatunde Onokoya says chess saved him. Now he's using the game to educate children in slum communities. He'll join us to share in the smartness from slum uh, story. For the first time, Nigeria crossed 1,000 new daily COVID-19 infections, but without fatality. Are we inching closer to a fourth wave? And like always, we will be reviewing the top stories in the dailies with an analyst. Many thanks for joining us on The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. Mercy, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Justin. It's good to be with you. Yes, it's a great weekend. And uh, I'm sure a whole lot of people are actually bracing up for the fun ahead and, of course, the relaxation for another you know, the weekend. I will be starting with um, uh, top trending. And uh, one of the stories in the news right now is uh, no promotion for airing judges. You know, the Chief Justice of um, Nigeria, Tanko Mohammed, has actually announced that, uh, you know, judges who uh, have been given uh, conflicting, uh, you know, judgments and rulings on most cases uh, that we have had over time, you know, would not actually be getting any promotion that's uh, because you know the judiciary uh, as they always say it's the hope of the common man and uh, the, the problem that we have like we constantly talk about is not the fact that we don't have laws we do have laws in our country right but the implementation of these laws and obeying the laws is what's actually you know a major challenge for us now if you remember vividly it was within a week that you had different court orders you know from the one from Kebi and then River State and also Cross River State. Now, do you want to talk about the National Judiciary of, uh, what's it called, the NJC now? The Judicial, uh, Council. Judicial Council. Okay, uh, apart from the fact that, um, apart from the fact that, you know, the council has a responsibility of advising the president and governors, they also have a responsibility of discipline uh, disciplinary function. Yeah, uh, so, and, and that's what it is. So it, it's quite commendable, uh, the fact that uh, this should serve as a deterrent. It should. Uh, it should serve as a deterrent to other judges and to everyone in the practition. Uh, because we can't constantly just wake up. That, that's, uh, it threw the country into a serious commotion and confusion. And a lot of persons were totally uh, you know, concerned about the fact that how can this come from, you know, the judiciary. Now, the function of a judiciary in a democratic dispensation can never be disputed. I mean, you talk about the fact that they interpret the law, interpretation of the law, uh, you know, they also ensure, tells us, and protect groups and people, you know, from the government. So you can't be the one, you know, giving different orders when you understand what the law says and, you know, acting contrary. So, yes, I think it's a step in the right direction, uh, the fact that uh, this punishment has been put out and I hope that he serves as a deterrent to every other person you know in the judiciary. Yes it is a welcome development Miss. I couldn't agree more because as some of these judges they end up uh, causing more than chaos to the judicial system in Nigeria not just the judges themselves sometimes even the lawyers you know they tend to make up the matter you know or the matters worse when they know they are, there has been uh, maybe a particular judgment and that they go to another court um, even of the same jurisdiction to you know file applications uh, you know on a feed of it and of course expert emotions there and there knowing that uh, it should just cause some um, some sort of a delay in uh, the dispensation of justice but i, I agree with Tanko mohammed uh, no promotion for erin judges this couldn't have come at a better time all right, another story trending right now is uh, the Chinese government is actually sending uh, investigation experts to help Nigeria in its fight against um, insurgency and security generally. Mercy, uh, this was uh, a fallout of an agreement, uh, you know, the Chinese government had uh, in Nigeria sometime October 1 this year. There was some sort of a Nigeria... Uh, uh, Nigeria Chinese, uh, you know, friendship, uh, something like that. And um, in all of this, now they say that uh, the fight against terrorism can may not um, be uh, entirely uh, handled by just the country and um, its people. Sometimes uh, there is the need for international aid and help. And um, chi the Chinese government is actually stepping up, you know, to send some of your experts to Nigeria. A lot of people have greeted that particular, you know, development with mixed uh, reaction. Some say that it is a welcome development. And others are saying that, uh, you know, there may be some clause to it. If the Chinese uh, government is bringing uh, their experts, uh, what 
What's the need for them, really? Uh, for exactly the question, because we also need to understand the politics that happens outside, you know, when nations come together. You always need to understand that uh, everyone would want to represent their interests. Mm -hmm. And so um, China would not just wake up and be interested, you know, in Nigeria's security. Did we invite them or they just sat back and thought that, oh, we need to extend help? As much as we say uh, no one should live in isolation, you can't get it all by yourself. And that's why there's a message for globalization and, you know, global peace and prosperity. At the end of the day, if you look at the reality, you find out that everyone is looking out for their interests with their policies at the end of the day to protect their own country. So, um, first of all, as much as one would say, okay, yes, do we need some collaboration? Do we need help? Uh, is it okay to ask for assistance and help in, in combating, you know, the security challenge? We also need to begin to look at what kind of challenge we're combating here. I mean, our security concern. We have internal issues. And let's not forget that we're a sovereign nation. And mm -hmm. when you say you're a sovereign nation, it means that you have, you know, you, you have gotten to, to, to the level where you can solve your problems uh, without any, you know, interference. Right. So um, being a sovereign nation, being the fact that we have security concerns, these are internal issues. It doesn't, I don't know if we understand that we, we know. We, we know exactly what the problems are. We understand the dynamics. They're just not, it's not just... Uh, uh, you know, it's not just limited to a particular... I mean, if you want to begin to categorize them, you will talk about the issue of kidnapping and banditry and what have you, you know, to the northeastern part of the country and you mm. want to come to, you know, the south-south region or the southeast, you talk about the issue of uh, marginalization that is causing, uh, you know, the agitation, mm. which, is also causing, no. yeah, yes. which is also causing uh, all of that challenge and pockets of issues around. So the issues are you know, internal issues. And whether or not we have, you know, all of these experts come from wherever, we're going to bring the best brains and bring all of them. When it comes to implementation, it comes to doing. So we have them train the officers. Until we do what we ought to do, it won't change anything. Mm. So it's okay to say, yes, we're coming to have this expert exchange knowledge. Yeah, that's good. That's applaudable. Who would be implementing them? The Nigerian police, uh, the Nigerian army, or what have you, the security agencies. As, as long as... <laughs> because it's the same thing as saying you, you could read something, you could have information, and you do contrary to what you have. So the problem is not about you know, the information. I think that we have what it takes to take care of our security concerns. Mm. Yes, I know that some people would not want to agree with that and say, okay, in terms of, our, you know, in terms of weapons, we, we depend uh, so much on the Western world for uh, weapons and weaponry. And this has always been the case you know, for us as a country uh, to some extent. We have always been very dependent. I remember a time where Nigeria was you know, faced with a particular war where we lost out on that one. And that's because <laughs> the sanction that was placed on Nigeria, I think it was during Kentari, was execution when you, we had all of that you know, uh, military, I mean, the sanction on Nigeria. They withdrew all of the might. So all of the countries that gave support, military support and weaponry and all, that we drew it. Uh, and that's what happens when your dependency is so much on this country for almost everything. Mm. But it boils down to the fact that whether or not we bring, you know, the, 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 I don't even know what to call it. I don't know who they bring Intelligence. God. <laughs> as much as we are the ones implementing it. it will, because we'll see, these things are not going to be implemented. Uh, the arrest. I mean, we've talked about the fact that the, we the, have the identified the persons who have sponsored. It's not like we don't know. So we say we know those who are sponsoring terrorists Supposedly. and the bandits in our country. We know. We're well, not supposedly. The federal government has said we know the sponsors. I said supposedly Fed because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. The, the federal government is also saying, oh, we are aware that people are collecting taxes. This group of persons are collecting taxes. We know X, Y, Z. So why haven't we arrested? Why haven't we had people, you know, going through facing the law as it were? Mother is mother. And so we're beginning to say, oh, let's begin to create other laws. These people are killing people. And the Constitution makes provision for the issue of mother. So I really do not understand. So whether or not we're going to... Be, because we, don't we have a police force? We do have a police force. Don't we have, you know, security? We have different. There have been several bodies that have been created, states, joint efforts, and what have you. So why aren't we arresting? So if we have China now come with their... You know, intelligence and their experts and so their professionals. What would they do differently? Uh, when they're gone, does it mean that we will now start effecting arrests? Well, I think in my opinion, <laughs> you know? I think in my opinion, you know, the best they could do, they could decide to offer their support, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but Nigerians actually, uh, Nigeria uh, should have the final say in what direction it wants to drive its own security 
or you know and tactics and all of that if it means um, buying weapons from or, or getting tanker ships or whatever it is to combat um, this particular that, that, that's, like, that, that's not necessarily that, the problem you know, so basically when they talk about China coming to support us it's as though we're actually just uh, 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 leaving ourselves to the mercy of the Asian world uh, whatever you know they uh, bring to us we just accept and uh, hopefully we might get uh, the solutions that we need but I don't think that's the way to go about it we'll leave that for a bit now we'll talk about the final <laughs> top trending. It actually makes me laugh. I am laughing right now, but uh, some group of people or some resident uh, from some Asian countries would not be able to laugh <laughs> for the next 11 days, nor drink alcohol, you know, because uh, they have to do that in respect of uh, <laughs> their leader. I'm not laughing. I'm just uh, wondering how you could just uh, go about Mercy, can you imagine going one full day without laughing or smiling? How would well, that work for well you? It's, it's possible, but you Mercy know. Mercy you. It's possible not to laugh. I know you so well. You're even laughing. <laughs> it's, possi already. it's possible not to laugh. But, for 11 you know, days. Mercy. It, it's possible not to laugh. I mean, if you live in that country. So let me put it back to you. If you were in South Korea now, South Korea? North Korea. North Korea, I beg your mm. pardon. If you were in North Korea, mm. tell me that you would not obey that law. <sighs> Mercy. <laughs> Some laws. <laughs> I don't know, it would be hard to build. Because no. Because I don't know. So, would you continue just to be in perpetual sadness just no, because the you're the trying to with, the truth respect with, you your know, leader uh, who died? North Korea yes. uh, is the fact that they have stringent laws. I mean, it's a totalitarian nation. It's crazy. And man. so, you have, uh, you know, the leadership. There are laws that have been classified as unusual. And Draconian. we're talking about it. We're talking mm. about those laws as unusual because we live in a democratic dispensation. Mm. And that's why I would always say, and I would follow the people who argue that, you know, the worst form of democracy is still better than, the, you know, the best form of any military government. Mm -hmm. Now, there are several rules. Do you also know that it is also a crime to make calls? There, there are too many unusual laws, international call in, you know, in North uh, Korea. In 2007, if I'm not mistaken, a man was actually executed for that. Women are not even allowed to drive. I don't know if that has actually changed. Uh, you know, there are too many issues. There are several laws. You're not allowed to listen to foreign music. You're not allowed to, you know, wear jeans. You're not allowed to... So there was a time they're where... They're just existed. They're not even living as it, as it is. And, and that's why at some point... So you need to take a breather and begin to appreciate democracy. <sighs> some people have argued that democracy is not the best form of government. It and is. I will always say it that is. as... As the worst form of democracy that you would have ever, it is way you better have than your freedoms. You, it's way better than you know living in a system. You're not even allowed access to the internet. You know that they, they don't have access don't to the know. internet. It's and those people who have access to who have access to internet are just a select few, and that is highly monitored. So you don't, they don't have access to internet, no mobile phone connection, and even if they do have all of that, so I'm, not, I'm entirely not surprised that uh, there's been a ban. Uh, the death of the leader of uh, you know South North Korea is also a huge issue also. So there are too many laws that like you have described draconian and I'm not very, very surprised. There's also a time where you know uh, leather jackets were being banned. Because did you see that one, report? Yes, yeah, because I people did. were no, actually em emulating uh, copying Kim, that and the, the, the it, supreme leader. So, so <laughs> you, you're not even allowed to sleep. It's also a crime for you to sleep while he makes, he's making a speech. So you're in a meeting and you're dozing off. You know how many persons would have gone, would have been dead in Niger? Uh, sometimes we watch them on TV, even in the National Assembly, they're dozing off. <laughs> you know, while they're having serious conversation and deliberating and making laws. Too many people would have been dead. But you see, it's time for us to sit back and appreciate the fact that we're in a democratic dispensation. As horrible as we think it is, but you know, it's better than any. And it works. So <laughs> we, we're feeling is weird right now. We're feeling it's strange. Yes, it because, is weird. Yeah, the, the feeling uh, is because... the fact that I can laugh. No, you, you, know, you the, the reason, the reason you're feeling that it's strange and weird is because you... Leave. Yes, you there. don't leave there. We practice a different kind of, you know, democracy. Mm. And that's why, I mean, we, we practice democracy, not a different kind. <laughs> so that's a, a, a system where, you know, the draconian laws is a totalitarian, military, mm. authoritarian kind of government. And that's what is expected. So you see, for those who would always advocate that kind of law, you don't even want to say it. I mean, my parents and my grandparents who lived, you know, during that era. They lived in North military. Korea? No, not in North Korea. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I probably would have been in North Korea by now. I'm just saying. Are you would have been laughing right now? Uh, no. <laughs> I would still laugh. Yes, you would not laugh. You can still hide under the pillow. You would not laugh. laugh. You would not even try. No, you know, you, you, maybe you probably no, can't I'm laugh not... in the public. No, nobody would be there to see you when you're laughing. You could probably still laugh in your house, except nobody have to snitch on you. 
maybe somebody goes out and say you were laughing or take a picture and okay they don't have access to the phone so how do I it, 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 it is really strange I can't imagine no you life. I'm not I'm not surprised like I, I just mentioned I can't laugh for those who actually take alcoholic and, be and beverages they can't no some people actually no but but, but, but it's it, it's very also close in Nigeria I mean if you go to some the northern part of Nigeria also find out that you know alcohol beverage is not patronized. I know that but, but the part of not laughing uh, so how do you explain the I fact mean, that there, there, there are other freedom. laws? That I should love when I want to. You can't listen to foreign music. You can't do anything. No I mean, there are several show. laws. No, I'm Christmas. not surprised. You want to go for comedy shows? You can't do that right It's now. a different country entirely. Different laws. I want to laugh, and I, I thank God that I actually have the privilege and the freedom and the right to to laugh. I'm right now happy that I am from Nigeria. Well, that's as much as we can take on uh, our top trend. In a moment, we'll be back with uh, off the press, and G. D. Johnson will be joining us in a minute. Don't go away.